everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today we are getting frugal. I am showing you how to get two dinners out of a bag of meatballs and a bag of potatoes. Now, if you followed me in my channel for any length of time, you know that I love frugal, simple, and healthy. So most of my meals here are at least some sort of combination of all three. And most of the time I can get all three of them in one meal. And most of the time I can get all three in one meal, but sometimes you just have to kind of pick and choose. With today's video, I am showing you how to make two dinners out of a bag of frozen meatballs and a bag of russet potatoes. So typically when it comes to healthy, I try to promote making your own versions of everything. So in the case of meatballs, I would prefer to make my own meatballs out of like ground beef or turkey and like simple pantry ingredients. However, I do know that we are also busy and a bag of frozen meatballs will work just as well in a pinch. So I got my bag of meatballs at Aldi for $4.49, I think it was. There are 64 meatballs or 66 or something in the package. So that's enough for two dinners worth for us. Both of these meals are going to serve between four and six, probably about six servings or so per meal. So it'll feed one bigger family, or if you have a smaller family like mine, it'll give you leftovers for at least a day or two. So we've got the frugal part down because we're using both of those ingredients to make two different meals. I've also got most of the health part down. Like I said, the meatballs could be healthier. However, a frozen bag of meatballs will work in a pinch. You're also making your own mashed potatoes and everything. So that part is healthy as well. I am also about easy, easy ingredients for everything. I see a whole bunch of like healthy recipes that call for like 15 different ingredients. And I'm like, I just don't have time to put together all that stuff. So the recipes you're going to see are really easy. They only require a few ingredients, some of which you may already have in the house. Now, are these kid friendly? It depends on what you mean by kid friendly. Like Allison doesn't eat anything. So these are not kid friendly for her. But if your kids are adventurous and they actually like meatballs and they like mashed potatoes, then yes, I would probably consider these to be kid friendly. So the two meals we're going to make today are meatball marinara baked potatoes and barbecue meatballs over mashed potatoes. So let me get into the first recipe and how it's made. The first recipe we're making is the meatball marinara baked potatoes. So I've got the oven preheating to 400 and I'm just taking some olive oil and lightly rubbing the potatoes with them. They've already been washed. Next, I'm going to poke them with a fork, which really, now that I think about it, I probably should have poked them before putting olive oil on it to keep my hands from getting slippery, but you know. I just sprinkled some salt and pepper over them and I baked them in the oven for about 40 minutes. That was about enough to get them nice and soft. Next up is the meatballs. So I wanted to serve, I think five servings and five meatballs equals one serving. So I put 25 of them in the pan, which was about half the bag. Then I poured a cup and a half of spaghetti sauce in there. As you can see, this is a homemade veggie spaghetti sauce. You'll see a video on that here next week, or you could just use a cup and a half of regular spaghetti sauce that's been jarred. I'm gonna put a lid on that and let that cook for about 20 to 25 minutes, just enough to let the meatballs heat up. And after 40 minutes, the potatoes were nice and done. Just stick a fork in it to make sure they're nice and soft, which they were. Then when you're ready to serve, just cut the potato in half and put five meatballs on top. And then you can top it with some shredded mozzarella cheese. And you can serve it with any kind of vegetable that you like. I chose to serve ours with some uh, frozen green beans. This actually turned out really good. I know meatball, baked potatoes, it doesn't sound very good, but it was actually super delicious. The next recipe is just a super simple barbecue meatballs with mashed potatoes. So I'm starting out by cutting up the potatoes for the mashed potatoes. I'm putting 
three pounds of them into a pot of boiling water. And I let them cook for maybe 10 minutes just until they get really soft. Then in the meantime, I just emptied the rest of the bag of meatballs into a pan and poured a cup and a half of the barbecue sauce on top. Pretty much the same as the marinara baked potatoes, you just cook it the same exact way. That's what makes frozen meatballs so amazing. Now I let them cook for about 15 or 20 minutes until they were fully heated up as well. Once the potatoes were fully done, I poked them with a fork, they were nice and soft, so I drained them and added them back into the pot. I then added a half cup of milk and then four tablespoons of butter. Now at this point, you can either use just a handheld potato masher, you can put them in your KitchenAid mixer even if you wanted to, but I have an immersion blender, which is probably the best invention ever. You might see my mistake though, I started to use it and then I like knocked out the circuit breaker on accident, so my lighting was out. So I did this all without lighting, which I mean, it looks like it's okay. But it took me just a few minutes to get this all mashed up. Now mine were super thick, so if you like your mashed potatoes to be a little bit thinner, feel free to add some more milk to it. But these look perfect to me. After that, it's time to serve. It's looking delicious. Um, you can also sprinkle with garlic powder, salt and pepper. I kind of forgot to do that when I mashed it up. But the mashed potatoes serve six, about a one cup serving. And then I added just five meatballs to the plate. And I also roasted up some broccoli and some carrots to have with it. This made like eight servings with the rest of the meatballs. This is gonna feed us for a very long time. It was so, so good. So I hope that these two recipes have given you a little bit of inspiration on either what to make for dinner for next week or how to stretch the food that you buy. These two recipes are actually part of a free healthy meal plan that I created. I'm gonna link it in the description below, but it is a one week meal plan that has your breakfast, your lunches, your dinners, even snacks and desserts. It's got the grocery list for everything and all the recipes that go with it and it's totally free. Like I said, click the link in the description and it is yours. If you like this video, please leave me a comment and let me know because I love to hear from you guys and I'm always looking for more suggestions on how to make this channel better and how to give you guys more healthier, easy recipes. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel too so you can be notified whenever I post more videos like these or grocery hauls or even meal planning and nutrition tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.